buyers. Welcome. I'm Roger Dawson, an auctioneer with the Harcourts Group in Christchurch. And I want to spend a few minutes today talking to you about buying with confidence at auction. There's a lot of misconception out there and a lot of advice is often given to people, don't bid at an auction, wait until afterwards. I want to try and dispel some of those stories so that you actually get an advantage by bidding on the day. There's some things you need to be aware of and you should always take legal advice because buying at auction is a committed decision. There is no escape once you buy and you sign your contract. So first and foremost, do your due diligence. Make sure you are absolutely confident in what you're going to do. But there's no reason why you shouldn't, particularly once I've given you a few more clues. You need to understand that a sale at auction is an unconditional sale. And that carries some degree of trepidation for people. They do need to think about that very carefully because not a lot of people might have several hundred thousand dollars actually tucked away in the bank. So Getting your finance, talking to a good mortgage broker and being confident as to your limits is one of the points. Now the second thing that you need to be confident about is that when you're dealing with an auction seller, that seller has invested in looking for a sold sign on the day. They have spent their money marketing the property, drawing it to your attention and hoping that there will be a number of bidders in the room on the day. Many times there are, so you need to be aware of that. Competition often takes place very strongly in the auction room. But being prepared for that, talking to your Harcourts agent about tactics, attending auctions and watching how they unfold is a very good way to educate yourself on that. But I want to come back to the point about the seller investing in the sale. They are looking for a sold sign on the gate. The success rate of auctions is considerably higher than just working at a price. Now, yes, you won't know what the price is, but as it gets closer and is likely to sell, the auctioneer will announce that the property is going to sell. And if it's still within your limit, you can go hard for it to attempt to buy it. Now, the openness of what happens in the auction room is much contrasted from that that might happen in either a private sale, a a tender, or a deadline sale. When it comes to those, quite often they are done on the blind. Your offer or somebody else's offer is written up in an envelope and nobody knows what anybody else is prepared to pay. But with the openness of what happens in the auction room, you can see directly what your competition straight across from you is prepared to pay. Are you going to pay too much? Well, if somebody's prepared to pay only $1,000 less than you, you can be confident that you are not paying too much per se. And just to finish off on that point, let me point out this to you. When you outbid somebody by $1,000 or $500 in the auction room, you're never going to walk out of the room saying, did I pay too much? Because you can be absolutely confident that the person who was right behind you was prepared to pay at almost the same value as you. Yes, it pays to have a little fighting fund in the back pocket. You'll often think, "Mm, I'm limited by X dollars, but just having that last thousand or two that you can call on in an emergency is often what tips the the, the sale in your favour when the hammer falls. Now just so that you understand, I also want to explain the vendor bid. Many auctions sell with only one bidder. And a lot of people say, well, why would I only bid if I am the only bidder? But I want to say to you that that's your real advantage. Because many times, that one bidder in the room gets all the rights for discussion and negotiation. And we sell a surprising number of our properties with only the one active bidder. Because remember, they are bidding cash unconditional. If you let the property get passed in, then after auction, any number of buyers can come out of the woodwork and some of them will still have conditions that they want to put into their contract. 
Now sometimes, even though there are conditions, they might pay a higher price than what you're prepared to pay. And sometimes that will influence the owner. But if you'd been bidding that price on the day for cash, that will often influence the owner as well. So my advice would always be, bid and give it your best shot at auction. If it's not enough, then clearly you weren't at a level at which the owner was prepared to sell. That doesn't happen very often in my experience. And I can say you, to you that that experience goes back over 30 years in the real estate business. I want to give you absolute confidence that bidding at auction for a property of your choice and desire will often see you realize your dream much faster than if you'd waited and held on and then missed out by a few dollars or perhaps a condition or two that didn't suit you to put in but the owner was prepared to run with because he was influenced by the slightly higher price. All right, let's talk about tactics that we might use in the auction room. Now, some people like to sit and watch for a little while. Perfectly acceptable, but at some stage you might want to come in with a bid. Before you go to actually bid at your own auction, I'd advocate that you very, very strongly go and look at a number of the auctions that are being conducted. Most days of the week, either on site or in rooms, people are selling by auction. And it's a perfectly open, public event that you can go and watch. Now, as people get more experienced in going to auctions, they will sometimes play some pretty strong strategies. And some of those include coming in with a strong opening bid. For example, in a hypothetical case of the reserve, which you wouldn't know anyway, but your expected price range was 100000 some people might call out a very timid 50000 and let it just quietly inch, inch up into the 60s, into the 70s, into the 80s, into the 90s. But other people, once they've been several times, try and send a very strong message. This is my property. Don't mess with me. Now, I can be lighthearted when I say that. But coming in with a good, strong bid, 90,000, Mr. Auctioneer. That sort of a tactic has the effect sometimes of unsettling the opposition who think, wow, this person's got lots of money. I won't even waste my time bidding against them. And that can work as a tactic in your favor. Now, another thing that might happen is sometimes people wait until they hear the auctioneer announce that we are going to sell the property. That can be a strategy, but it can be a little bit risky in that sometimes an auction might stop and sometimes the owners and the highest bidder might reach agreement for the property to be sold outside of the auction room. So sitting on your hands and waiting and waiting and waiting and then possibly losing it may not be your best possible tactic. Just remember, when you're bidding at auction, you're bidding on a cash unconditional basis when the hammer comes down, you will own the property. There is no room for any clauses. You need to have done all your due diligence before and taken all your advice so that on auction day, with a clear strategy of how you're going to bid, you can attend the auction with confidence and hopefully see the hammer fall in your favor. The very best of luck with your auction bidding. Thank you.